When is the auction? These girls will be sold in their shares. They go today in Osmanaga's caravan. Dye and trim the beard. As you say. Is this your caravan that just arrived from a chef? Mm -hmm. Tell me, is there talk there about the marriage of our Princess Fozia with your prince? There are always fools who believe that happiness will follow when the prince marries, so there is much talk. There is much talk that such a marriage would help trade. I always say I like Baghdad for a visit, but not to live there. <laughs> I love to go there to eat and for the entertainment and the bakers. What's this I hear, Kerbalai? Is Haji leaving us? <laughs> the last great day to our great chief executioner. This is the very day. Tis not enough for a son to follow in his father's footsteps. He can put a man to sleep or keep a man awake a week, all with those skillful fingers. <laughs> Why are you not satisfied to be like your father, Haji? You're a good barber. True. But why, I ask myself, must I remain a barber? Take the Shah's chief favorite, Ismail Baglagol. Is he more handsome or better spoken than I? But he is the favorite. Well, and uh, the famous Lord Treasure, who fills the king's coffers with gold and does not forget his own. What was he? The son of a gross... <laughs> 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 he eats and drinks what he likes. He puts on a new coat every day. And after the Shah, he has his choice of all the beauties of Persia. <laughs> Surely one as handsome as you has no trouble with the beauties. I have no trouble with. I have trouble getting two. <laughs> I'll put money on Haji. He'll make his way. 100 dinars that in six months Haji is still a barber. Make it 500 and I'll take it. Haji's the kind of young man who gets ahead in our country. Done. 500 dinars. Thank you, noble merchant. Succeed and I'll thank you. Since you leave today, Haji, you're welcome to a place in my caravan. The greatest caravan to leave East Pahan. You had better be well armed, Osmanaga. This is a risky time. Fortunately, we did not encounter the fierce tribes, but my uncle Aziz was not so lucky. Two days before me, he was attacked at the Great Pass at Meshed. Oh, for a merchant, there's always risk. Remember, Haji, there's safety in numbers. <laughs> I prefer to travel alone. As you wish. Tell me, Haji, you're a barber, you hear everything. Who do you think the Princess Fawzia will marry? Ahmed Khan or Nur al-Din? Neither. For with a temper like hers, she must already be married. To the devil! <laughs> I must warn you, Haji. You should not speak thus of our princess. If my noble master, the chief executioner, were to hear you, he would have you flayed alive. But what have I said? That she is mean and cruel? I'd rather receive a kick from her than a kiss from most. <laughs> Nay, laugh not. I may carry the instruments of a barber, but I have the desires of a prince.
Philippe will be here shortly. And if we do not wake her, she will be in a terrible temper. I don't want to be the one to wake her. But who will wake her? Miriam, you do it. No, I recall the last time I awakened her. You do it. And be slapped for my pains? No, let Shireen. Very well. Who will wake me? And why? Is it you? Is it you? And why not you? Is it so difficult to decide? Very well, then. I will decide for you. You will wake me. And now that I am awake, for what have I been awakened? Speak. Your father, the Caliph, will be here much earlier than you expected. When? In a few minutes. Rose of Roses. Princess of Princess. Is my bath ready? Or do I have to choose someone to do that? Who is to bathe me and who is to dress me? Am I a lobster that you should boil me alive? Cool it. Cool it. Where is my perfume? Is it dead fish? Smell it yourself. Was ever a princess so cursed? The coffee is cold and the bath is too hot. Miriam. Are you going to torment me, too? Princess, the bath is cooler now. Now it is too cold. Hurry, hurry. The father will be here, and I will not be ready. Again, you have scratched me. Oh, oh, my emerald. I wish to wear it. The Caliph, he is approaching. Then go quickly, all of you. Go! Out! Go! Go! May I deserve my father's visit by my actions? It is my hope that your slumber was deep and your dreams pleasant. How can I sleep, knowing that for the first time in my life I do not wish to obey? You've been a loving and a faithful daughter. And for that reason, I've always given you everything you've wanted. But now I must refuse, only because I'm fearful for your happiness. But you were fearful when I begged for the white stallion. You said he was dangerous. Then I wrote him as I said I would, and you admitted you were wrong. That is true. But it is also true that the horse could only break your bones. Prince Nur al-Din will break your spirit. See the ring he has sent me and read the letters he has written. His words have no less fire. He desires me for his wife. Think of all the wives he's had and how he's treated them. No one can hold him. I am the one who can. Do you remember the Princess Mirza? She was as beautiful as you and as wise. And she was gentle as a dove. Perhaps he doesn't need a dove, but a falcon. You may be the falcon, but he will be the master. But, Father, Nur al-Din will make me happy. I know he will. In all the East, there is no one as handsome as he. There is no greater warrior, nor one who rides as well or hunts as hard. Or is as heartless. But I will find his heart for him. You are a child. You are too old-fashioned. Would you take for a husband a man who sends your father a letter which says, give her to me or I will take her? But that only shows how eager he is. He means no disrespect. You cannot cajole me. I say this man is not for you. He's evil. And I say he has the heart of a true prince. He desires me for his wife. I've sent messengers to Ahmed Khan at Basra to tell him that I'm sending you tomorrow to be his bride. Ahmed Khan? Never. He's young and serious, and he's never been married. He's promised me he will build a mosque in your honor even more beautiful than the Taj Mahal. A mosque? Cold marble cannot make my blood stir, but Nur al-Din can and does. I fear for you. You are so innocent. Whose fault is that? Here I am, 17 and unmarried. My sisters and cousins were married at 14. I have wasted three years, and I will waste no more. I will reason with you no further. Now I command you. I am the Caliph and your father. Make yourself ready for the journey. Tomorrow I send you to Basra to my friend and ally, Ahmed Khan. 
and I will send you under guard and in bonds if need be. If I were a man, I would escape. Perhaps there is a way. I have a message from Doraldine. You have? I am as nothing in his eye. Only a pathway down which his voice may travel to your ears. Speak. Do you know the avenue of Aberon that is left unguarded? Only one parasang from the outside of the city, there is a well and some trees. At that place, a horseman awaits a beardless youth. And for clothing? Not yet. I received the message only this morning. Make haste, and I will make ready. who thirsts. Perhaps you set a trap. Nay, nay. I am the rug merchant, Akim of Ispahan. By Allah, you speak the truth. <clears throat> what has happened to you? Where is your caravan? Captured on the Great Pass. On the short route from Meshed, we were set upon by the Turkmen women. I find it's difficult to believe, my friend. I hear these escaped harem girls are creatures of delicate beauty. <laughs> Do not be misled, young man. They're beautiful, yes, and dressed enchantingly. But they are sirens, cold. Their hearts are filled with hatred. They rose up out of the hills like, like demons and rode us down. Those of us who were not killed in the fighting were hung up for the vultures. I was, I was left for dead with this sash knotted round my neck. Your words only sharpen my interest. Such women must be very exciting. I merely wish to emphasize a warning, young man. Travel wide of the great pass. You needn't choke me to make your point. Can I give you a ride back to Ispahan? No, no. It's about a short walk. You've been kind enough. Then farewell. May good fortune ride with you. And good fortune to you. So 
Although he wore the robes of a barber, he was a man with fire in his heart. But as it goes, the legend uncovers, he never knew of the thrill of a kiss. Of the joy and the rapture of lovers, nothing like this, nothing like this. Haji, 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 Baba. Praise be to Allah. Praise be to Allah, I am your servant. Do you intend to stay here? I may or may not. For the moment, as you can see, I am watering my horse, filling my gourds. Leave, I pray you. For at this place, I am about to receive a treasure of such beauty that it is not for ordinary eyes. What you say intrigues me greatly. And now I would not leave for 10 times 10 Chikachi such as you. But for 10 times 10 golden dinars, I might be persuaded to go. By Allah, I shall slay you. Are you certain the guards are bribed? Yes, all is in readiness. Once you get into the courtyard, you can walk out with the others. I know, I know. Halt! Let me through. I am the courier. What courier? You know what courier. Let me by. I know nothing. I must hurry. What is it you want? Here. That is all I have. And I thirst for adventure, as some do for wine. Especially if it is profitable. Ten dinars. This should teach you a lesson. Seal of Neuraldine. Maybe I should slay you. But Neuraldine is in this adventure. Maybe dangerous rather than profitable. Let us once, evil one, and now speak the truth. Where is the princess? Stop! Stop it! I will tell you! Haji Baba, Haji Baba. Haji Baba, Haji Baba, Haji Baba. He's laughing and love and love. Always the dream of jewels and riches seem to enslave. Have you seen a warrior pass by this place? I am the one you expect. I am here to fetch the treasure. How clever of Nur al Din to send a warrior disguised as a barber. How is he? Everyone knows how he is. What is the treasure you expect? That you must reveal. Prove you are the one I am to meet. A 
beautiful. There is a treasure. the treasure. Let me go! Who are you? The college will let you know who I am. You must be the Princess Fawzia. My father's gone. Help me. I must get to Nur al-Din and Meshed. What will you do for me? I will give you the emerald. The emerald and 100 dinars. Anything you wish. Only hurry. We may find ourselves in the hands of the chief executioner. I can't help it. I am hot and tired. We'll stop when it's safe. My throat is parched. It won't be long. I must drink. Complaints flow from you like water from the springs of Elberker. But I am a princess, and my skin is soft. I am not used to such hard ways. You are no princess as long as we're on this desert. Well, I am stopping. Very well, you can stop. But I'm going on. You know that if your father's men catch us, they'll take you gently back to Ispahan. Me, they'll leave with my head in one place and my body in another. I like them stuck together. It should be safe to pause here for a while. Last I will drink. Bathe if you will, but drink, no. Here. You smell the leather. I don't like it. Then don't drink it. I would like some water now. Oh, I was wrong. It's the best water I've ever tasted. Love the joy and the rapture of lovers. I've never been on the desert before. And does it frighten you? Should it? Claim more lives than Nurold in. You don't like him. Who does? I've never known a barber. Or I a princess. Is it strange? No. Is it strange for you? 
No. But I am curious. Your curiosity is greater than mine. Good luck will overtake a merchant caravan. Travelers who wish to join your number for the journey to Meshed. Take us to your leader. Dismount and follow me. This is my old friend, Haji Baba. In Sheila, Osman. <laughs> and who is this one? This youth is Sher Ali, my assistant and apprentice to the arts of barbering. You move rapidly toward success. This morning, you were little more than an apprentice yourself. Can you give us shelter? Find shelter for my friend, Haji Baba. It shall be done. You refuse me in the morning only to join me at night. How is it you go to Meshed? I now see a chance for a fortune there. Uh, perhaps, perhaps not. Everything is in the hands of Allah. So be it. Can I count on your mercy for food for myself and Sher Ali? Most assuredly, but first you shall give me a massage and then you shall share food and uh, other pleasures. <laughs> <laughs> Fetch me the copper bowl, fill it with water, heat it and bring it here. Fetch it yourself. Allah has cursed me with an apprentice with a disposition of a mule. Aye, can we contend with fate? If Allah make a camel white, can Osman Aga make it black? Uh, what is your talent, youth? Are you skilled in the massage of astrakhan or the trimming of the beard? He is superb in the massage. Can he, by a slight pressure on certain nerves, put me into a full slumber as you can? He is my apprentice in all things. Good. Then I shall strip, and your hands shall melt away all aches from my bones. And later on, you shall take me into the massage. I will fetch the water, Master. Uh, where is the dancer? I shall send for her. This is my good friend, Haji Baba, and his apprentice, Shir Ali. This is the Chawush Mandan, who has promised us protection from the dreaded Turkomans. Boy, fetch my pipe. Send in the dancer. I have a cargo of silks from Constantinople and slave girls from Meshed. This dancer is a jewel who might please a prince like Nur al-Din. What manner of man is this prince? Nur al -Din? <laughs> Fortunately for me, he's fickle. His desires wax and wane like the moon. But he is to marry the Princess Fazia. Is there any slave girl to compare with her? Yes, there is one, this dancer Ayesha. She is beyond compare. She is more to be desired than ten princesses. But I hear the Princess Fazia... She's beautiful, eh? Yes, I've heard so too. But as you yourself said this morning, she's cruel and selfish. And I have it from one of her handmaidens that she's not even beautiful. Her mouth is large. She has no salt in her complexion. She is crooked. As for her waist, it is that like of an elephant. And her feet, a camel has smaller. That is a lie. Have you seen the princess, so youth? I... He is at an age where all princesses are beautiful. <laughs> May I retire, O oh Master? No, boy, come sit by me and watch the dancer. It is as Hafiz has said. Every moment of pleasure that one enjoys account as gain. Ah, the musicians.
do you think of her? She is magnificent. <laughs> what do you think? I have seen better. Why do you not rejoin the others? Fatigue lies heavy upon me. You did not enjoy the dance. At least I learned what manner of woman a barber finds beautiful. She is beautiful, and I venture that your neuraldine will find her so. Never. Her skin is coarse like pumice, her legs are too thick, her waist would take a bridge to span it. Some say that of the Princess Fawzia. Barbara, you are fortunate that we are not in Ispahan, or I would have, have you... Have me flogged? That is your answer to all but flattery. You wish to silence everyone by threats. Is that what it is to be a princess? Go. Oh, I am weary. Move over. You cannot stay with me. Well, then leave. This is my tent. You will not take advantage of me. I have the courage to kill you and myself, if need be. When I think of a woman, I think of Ayesha. You are safe with me. I've had a hard day, and I need no blows to put me to sleep. Just robe if you will. I shall count a hundred stars. Where is the princess? She's safe. Bring her to me. No. I'm taking her to Nurel Dean. She is my charge, and I do not need you. Nor I. Do not be alarmed. I wish merely to speak to you. Where is your master? He'll be back. I will make a bargain with you. I know that you are not Shir Ali. Neither am I a Chaush. Who are you? An honorable spy in the service of your father, the Caliph. And you are the Princess Fawzia. Fawzi! 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 Fawzi!
had not been for your courage, I would be back in Isfahan this day. You're precious to me. Worth an emerald ring and a hundred golden dinars. That is why you risked your life? For what else? The emerald alone is worth 20,000 tumens. With that, I can buy everything. Horses, houses, slaves and love. There is some love you cannot buy. Only in legends. Perhaps you are right. Perhaps legends are for barbers and love for princes. You will get Neuraldine and I will get the emerald. We shall see who has the better bargain. see your father, Princess. My orders are to take you straight to Basra. No. Prince Ahmed Khan rides from Basra to meet us. I must see my father. There is need for great haste. We will take the short way to the Great Mountain Pass. Come on, Wally, go on! Princess, but we must continue. We must get over this pass before nightfall. Do what you wish. Your plans are not mine.
women, Bokara. And bring in the next. This is the leader of the caravan, Betwana. Allah is with us. I capture the Caliph's guard and you take the caravan. Leave me at least one diamond. These rings are all I have left in the world and I'm an old man. Sell him in Bokhara. <laughs> Who is next? Can you ride and use a knife? I conquer men in other ways. Well said. To women of courage, we give a choice. Stay with us, or we will sell you in Bukhara to the highest bidder. I wish to be sold in Meshed, to Nir al Din. Then you are not for us. You will be sold in Bokhara. Take her. Who is the next one? I offer this emerald as my ransom. That is my emerald. Leave him. Why is it in his possession? He is my apprentice. It is in his safekeeping. What say you? The emerald is mine. What do you offer for your life? This ring and my skill. Let me see the ring. This is Nur al Din's ring. Are you his man? No, I stole the ring. My name is Haji. I'm from Ispahan. I have the skills of a barber. I bleed, pull teeth, set limbs. You have need of me. I can heal you. I do have need for you. And my apprentice, Shir Ali? If you heal me, I will spare you both. If not... Perhaps it is because I am weak from my wound. But I wish, if only for a few minutes, to be a woman. What is there to stop you? Who are you? I was forced into the harem of Nur al Din. But as you have seen, I am not meant to be any man's slave. The moon is not more beautiful than you. <laughs> In a conflict of wills, man has force on his side. Neraldine taught me pain. I hate him. You escaped? Yes, with two other girls. Our fame spread, and now whenever any woman escapes slavery, she comes to us. And are you happier now? I prefer to choose rather than be chosen. Is it possible I am the first one you have chosen? Would that it were so. Where are the others? In my harem. And where is that? They rot in the sun once their ardor cools. Mine will increase with each passing day. What is the meaning of this? Look for yourself. Who is she? Princess Fazia of Ispahan. The Caliph's daughter? And what is she doing here? I was taking her to her betrothed, Prince Nur al Din. You can forget that you were in my arms five minutes ago, for it will not save you if you lie to me. Well, as Allah is my witness, it is a truth. I promised to take her to Nur al Din in return for that emerald you wear. And she means naught else to you? It is a matter of trade like transporting sheepskins. You should ask me what he means to me. He is a servant that I bought as I would buy any other. Spoken like a princess, 
But that does not prove that you are one. Do any of you know the Princess Fazia? I do. I was her handmaiden. Fabria? Yes, I am Fabria. And she is the Princess Fazia. She is in your keeping. I will show her how well I learned my lessons. Whatever she does to you will be better than you could expect from Nur al -Din. You I will spare for your gentle hands. But I warn you, if you communicate with her in any way, both of you will die. Great Bana, we have prepared to take the slaves to Bokhara. We wait but your command. Go. <laughs> Mercy, please. I'll show you mercy, the same as you showed me. Drink. I was frightened. I thought you wanted only the emerald. The emerald? I'll be back. No.
up. Since you are lovers, I've arranged for you to watch each other die. When Geraldine's men, they took the slaves from us. And our women? I am the only survivor. We will avenge this loss. We attack at once. How long will it be? Soon it will not matter. Haji? Yes? I regret my ill temper and selfishness. Have you no regrets? Only one. I find myself tied to this pole. You regret having tried to bring me to Noor al Din? No. But I do. Since I know I will not live, I must speak the truth. I do not wish to marry Noor LD. For in these past days and nights, I've learned something. I've learned that I've been mean and cruel. That I love you. I have learned the same for myself. You love me more than an emerald? More than 10,000 emeralds. It is easy to say now. But you will never see an emerald again. I would not now give you to Nur al-Din or any other man alive. If Nur al-Din were to but look at you, I would gouge out his eyes. If his hand touched you, I would break it. By the beard of Allah, I swear it. Great Prince, we have defeated the Turkoman women, and here is their leader. My old love, the Banyar. I would think he would have died rather than be delivered to me. Kneel and beg my forgiveness. <coughs> you, sir, put her in chains with her followers. Wait. Where did you get this ring? I will tear the words out of you. I can answer that, great prince. I know from whence the ring comes. Release her. Belongs to the Princess Fazia, who was a captive in the Turkoman camp. Princess Fazia? Captain! Take your fleetest horses, ride to the Turkoman camp, and bring back the princess. 500 dinars to the man who delivers her safely. Hurry!
Fair cousin, you must think ill of me as a ruler. I beg your forgiveness that I have been unable to protect you from such shameful treatment. I am grateful, Prince, to you and your men for my life. May I secure you from all danger in the future? First, there is something you must hear. Haji will tell you. Haji, tell the Prince. Tell him what happened. Great Prince, here is the scoundrel who tried to steal the maiden Morgiana from your harem. I want him here, in front of me. is clear, and mine is the hand of justice. All right, now, I want you to tell me what happened. Well, uh, we were lashed to a pole, great prince. We could not move, and, and I was bemoaning the fact that after many dangers had been overcome, it uh, looked as if I might not be able to deliver the princess to you as I'd hoped. I made every effort to bring her to you safe and sound. And now, now I claim my reward. A brave lion's become a lamb. It is not enough. He speaks the truth. I promised him the emerald you wear. Give it to him. A bargain is a bargain. He shall have the emerald. You are a true prince, and I love you. Bargain is a bargain. You promised him an emerald, not a horse. Help! Go back. Bring me the emerald. Inform my friend, the Caliph of Isfahan, that he is welcome in my camp. My city will be as his, and his city as mine, once the princess and I are wed.
two of our men dead. But the horrible thing is, their heads are clean shaven, as if by a barber. So you escaped too? Yeah, only with my skin. How like a prince you look. I think you were only a barber a few short weeks ago. Now you're rich, handsome, a successful merchant with everything your heart desires. Not everything, Osman. Oh, that's how it is, my son. One hopes for 20,000 dinars, then one finds it's not sufficient. One needs 40,000. Fortunately for you, I am here. I'll give you a chance to double your money, nay, triple it in the shortest possible time. I leave immediately with a great caravan of goods to be sold at Nur el Din's wedding. As you know, he marries the Princess Fawzia a few days hence. I will not go. Oh, I do not ask him to take you, but your money. No. Money has not brought me happiness. Twice the money will not make me happier, nor thrice. But what ails you, Haji? I am in love. Oh, then buy her. Whatever the cost, it's worth it. No, she is not for sale. Ha, <laughs> ha, Only a young man speaks thus. It is a Princess Fawzia. The money's gone to your head. The Princess Fawzia? And once I believed she loved me. Then take her. From Neuraldine? Why not? She is a prince, a great and powerful prince. I, I am a barber. Oh, I despair for you. Without courage, one can be neither merchant nor prince. Haji Baba? I am Haji Baba. Come with us. I wish to see the prince. Tell him I am here. No one can enter, princess. He cannot be disturbed. Perhaps it is this dancing girl you should marry. Let the princess force you enter. Go. Your jealousy flatters me. It is not jealousy. You are wrong. Now at last I know you are no husband for me. Arrange for an escort to take me to Ispahan. Beloved, my heart is set on this marriage. It is the key to my future. A bitter future. You would be hated, not loved. I do not need love if I have possession. 
I have ways to persuade you to do my bidding. Could you be forced into submission? No. Neither can I. You're wasting your time. We are a race of kings, and we do not surrender easily. I will make this arrangement with you. Do as I ask, and once I have accomplished my purpose, I will give you your freedom. What purpose is that? I intend to possess all Persia. My armies have gone as far south as Karwan and as far north as Samarkand. Ispahan lies across the trade route, from Basra to Baghdad and Tehran. Ispahan I must and shall have. You say must. I say never. Come with me. This amber-colored liquid, so warm, so full of fire, would you believe that in an instant it could chill the marrow of your bones, turn your blood to ice so rapid that you need but taste it? And yet it is merciful. Take this one, color of an emerald. The emerald I gave to you, which you in turn gave to another. This works slowly, 20, 30 hours. It looks cool, like the ocean at its deepest point. And would you believe it sets every nerve on fire that one cannot breathe? That one does not know whether the agony in the hands is worse than in the feet, or the chest worse than in the vital organs? Horrible. So it is. And I dread its use. But two slight months ago, I gave it to my friend, Emir Kayin. He broke his word. And it broke my heart to watch his agony. I think you will be the most beautiful bride Persia has ever seen. You are Haji Baba. I am great caliph. You are the one who took my daughter against my will and transported her to Nur al-Din. No one transports your daughter, Highness. I accompanied her. In the four days and four nights I was with her, I found her difficult, spoiled, ill-tempered, and mean. You love her. Love her? One might as well love a storm on the desert, or an angry camel, or the bite of a spear. Girl, tell Haji Baba what you told me. The princess implores the caliph, her father, not to come to the wedding. She says it is enough that she is in danger. The princess says that Nur al-Din will kill the caliph if he comes. She begs her father's forgiveness for disobeying him and for not heeding his warnings. She asks him to find Haji Baba and thank him for what he tried to do. My armies could never defeat Nur al-Din's in the desert. Besides, I must keep them here to defend Ispahan. But Haji, sometimes one man... What could I do? What could a barber do against so powerful a prince? Do you love my daughter? Love her? I am a barber's son. Muhammad himself was not born a prince. And it was he who said the greatest power in the world is love. Nur al-Din's strength can crumble and fade away, but the power of love survives. I say to you, if you love my daughter, you have that power. Win her. Spices from Samarkand! Shawls from Kashmir! Silks from Bukhara, filigree from Damascus, fine mosaics, <laughs> 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 Wait, Turek, take.
Take those into the tent. This is your caravan, merchant? It is. I have gifts for the prince and princess, and also many fabulous jewels. Will you please inform your master, Nur al-Din, Prince of Princes, that I would show him my most precious gems. What is your name? My name is known throughout all Persia. I am the great merchant Osman Aga of Ispahan. And you? Who is he? This is a holy man. He has taken the vow of silence and of darkness. That is why he neither speaks nor uncovers. Praise be to Allah. Turek, make all ready within the tent. Wait, wait, wait. First, you must see what I have here. Oh. <laughs> Ointments and salves, the finest in all Persia. These salves and ointments are made from secret formulas, ages old. In one of these jars of ointment, there is a precious jewel, a diamond worth a hundred tumans. The lucky girl who finds the diamond may go into our tent and choose another gift. And remember, my lovelies, once again I remind you, the lucky one who finds the diamond goes into the tent to choose another gift. Look! Look, the diamond! Ah, oh, the fortunate one! Turek, take her into the tent. Don't go! There are more diamonds, more gifts! You've risked your life to see me. I hoped you would not forget me. How could I? Well, then kiss me. Sweeter than honey, but I, I did not come for that. For what, then? I'm on a mission for the great Caliph of Isfahan to rescue his daughter, the princess, for a rich reward. If you help me, Nur al-Din will be yours alone. No. You know that except for the Princess Fawzia, you have found most favor in his eyes. Help me and he will be yours. You will rule by his side. You will have the jewels, the robes, the power that Nur al-Din would give the princess. What is it you would have me do? Osman Aga has brought with him an offering for the guards. It is a potent mixture of pomegranate juice and honey. You will serve it to the guards surrounding the Turkoman women. No, I'm afraid. I swear to you, it will not hurt the guards. What is in this liquid? Uh, beautiful dreams. You see, it is not deadly. If you desire a prince, you must have courage. The rewards you promise are to my liking. I will do as you ask. Good. Then take this to the guards. I will. When will they drink it? At noon. Please, please, will you take me to Isfahan with you? It's very important. Oh, have no fear. This Tuareg cannot speak and therefore can be trusted. At noon. Good. Now, will you do as I ask? Will you take me with you when you go to Isfahan? Will you hide me? I might. I will see that you are richly rewarded. I have an ancient prejudice against promises. Here. This is the measure of what you might expect in Isfahan. To hear is to obey. But tell me, how does a lad like you, a mere barber's apprentice, find himself with such a pearl? It... it was a gift. I did the Princess Fawzia a service. And how is the princess? Is she happy over her marriage to Nur al-Din? How can she be happy when she loves another? She does? And who may that be? His name is Haji Baba. Haji Baba. I had no idea that your master Haji even knew the princess. The last time I saw him in Ispahan, he was surrounded by beautiful slave girls. I hear he's even thinking of buying a charming girl for a wife. No. Oh, it cannot matter to you. Of course not. As for myself, he treated me ill. 
I was speaking before on behalf of the princess. How is it that the princess Fawzia loves a barber? Because she is a fool. Ah, it is not wise to speak thus of Nur al-Din's bride. Turek, take this light into our tent and show him our wares and hide him there. Thank you, noble merchant. Ah, praise be to Allah. I must go see Prince Nur al-Din, for noon is not far distant. Tell me, lad, what manner of jewels does the princess like? Emeralds. Ah, she has excellent taste, except in barbers. <laughs> Where do I hide, Torre? <gasps> Haji! Osman Aga lies. For me, there are no women but you. Oh, Haji, I'm so happy. But how is it you are here? You are in danger. I said on the rocks that you were more precious to me than any emerald. Now I shall prove it. No. Prove nothing. Only stay alive. I intend to. Our plan is simple. Osman Aga will keep Nur al-Din occupied until noon. Then the Turkoman women will be released, and we shall escape. I have no need of pearls. Prince of princes. Master of all Persia, your northern armies are poised for the attack on Basra. Your ally, Olive El Shazad, sends this message. We are ready. Great Prince, in the event your present plans fail, we are ready to march on Isfahan. So be it. And now, great merchant of Isfahan, what else have you to show me? I have here a gift worthy only of your queen. This necklace once belonged to the Queen of Sheba herself. What is the price of this necklace? It is impossibly expensive, noble prince. It is worth 100,000 tumans. Very well. I will pay you when I reach Isfahan, and I will remember you gratefully. Uh, your esteem is worth more than great riches, noble prince. But if you could pay something on account... These are truly wondrous gems. Never have I seen such well-matched stones. The princess will be enchanted. But, noble prince, this is but one of the beauties I have to show you. There are rubies which are as stars. Fantastic combinations of precious gems that have not been seen before. I will see them another time. But noble Prince, I beg of you, be pleased to let me show them to you now. Let me show you some of my other treasures. Even better calculated to please a princess taste. Wait here. Hurry! You must find the guards at once. It's almost noon. Do as I say. Go, go quickly. And more for you. Praise be to... Praise be to whom? This is a gift from the caravan of Osmanaga. Then praise be to the generous merchant Osmanaga. Cool and refreshing, is it not? Happiness. Happiness and long life to our great prince. May Allah bless the marriage of our prince to the princess Fazia, and may their children be many, and may Persia rejoice in their rule. Wake up! Rise! Rise! Get up! Rise! Get up! Abdullah, make haste! Make haste!
Where is the princess? I, I saw... Musa, guards! Find the princess, bring her here. Yes, great prince. Where is Musa? My sword, be quick! us, Hashi Baba, of the privilege of taking him alive. Unfortunately, your troubles are not over. His men will now attack your city. I'll see the princess safely back and warn the Caliph's guard. We'll fight him off. Allah be with you. joys will be short, but yours may be many. That reminds me of our wager. Is Haji a success or isn't he? A success? He has married the princess. He is worth more than all the merchants at Ispahan together. Do you call that success? Of course. What do you call it? Good fortune. An accident. 
luck, that's all. <laughs> uh, Haji's luck is your misfortune. Pay me! Hey! <laughs> 500 dinars! <laughs> Thank you for your wonderful affection. However, the wedding ceremony has tired the princess, and I must regretfully take my leave. Allah be with you. They're magnificent. You're the idol of everyone, my love. I suppose I should make another appearance. Uh-uh. No, that won't be necessary. 